hello, hello. Guess where I am? Um, today I'm in Leeds. Um, I'm going to look around to see what the Northerners have for me. Um, I've never been to Leeds before. I was told that Leeds is quite good. Um, I was told that Leeds has some nice spots to chill in. Um, I'm not too sure about that. Um, I'd have to check for myself. So um, follow me around whilst I gallivant around Leeds city centre. So if you come to Leeds, um, there's actually a lot to see. various shopping centres um, in some places when you come there they'll just have like one main shopping centre but um, in Leeds they have various shopping centres um, and they have their main city centre area and within that you could find various shops as well so I came here early afternoon um, today is a Monday so it's not that busy if you come here on a saturday it's obviously very very busy but um on a weekday it's not that busy so don't be surprised if you don't see too many people so they have the usual things you see in the city center so they've got bands and they've got um like i said they've got shopping centers as well I don't think I'll be able to go to the shopping centre and the reason for that is um, in the shopping centre we tend not to allow people to record so it's always better to um, avoid it because they'll end up telling you to switch off the camera So, the weather in Leeds is totally different so we're currently we're not, it's not summer yet, but it's spring, yeah? But we're getting to summertime. Um, if you go to London now, it's quite warm. It's like 20, I think it's about 22, 23 at the moment. But up north, um, it's always colder anyway. And um, for those that have been up north, you would know what I'm talking about. So if you come up north, you would realize that the weather is always different from down south. So I'm wearing um, something to keep me warm at the moment because um, I kind of knew that it might be like this when I come here so I came fully prepared so there's a lot going on I'm going to show you so this is the main shopping area so you can see a lot of people walking around I don't think it's going to get busier than this though um, considering, it's, um, considering it's a working day so I don't think it will get busier than this It was actually busier than this when I came because um, I initially came at 12 o'clock then I went back to my car and I've come back here and it's like 3 o'clock so this is I'm sure this is the most we can get anyway in terms of people but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely confident that on a weekend it's much more busier so that's the usual pound land I'm not gonna lie it feels like it feels like Leeds is not um, is not as I don't want to use the wrong word but I feel like there's not a lot of money here compared to London I might be wrong but that's what I feel um, although they have a lot of good places around um, let's check this place out although they have a lot of good places like they have um, fancy shops and that but just having a look at the people around um, yeah I don't think there's a lot of money I'm just going to keep it as that I don't want to say too much but that's just how I feel so some places are not even open or they've got nothing in there that might be open 
Um, that's close on the Monday. Fuck your face. So they've got some good shops around. We've got this shop that sells um, designer stuff. It's quite dry. Like if you go to um, the town centre in London, it will be much more busier than this. But hair is a bit dry. Quite dry, I must say. Um, not a lot going on. So now we are in a much more busier place. I'll show you around in a minute. It looks like a typical London High Street and they've got like um, British flags around a lot of British flags around um, we've got having the coals so some people must have a lot of money having them because um, this is so similar to actually this is similar to like um, John Lewis and South Regions I don't know, I just don't feel the vibe of money here. I, I just don't know why. Um, maybe I'm just um, prejudiced. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking people up north don't have money, but it doesn't feel like it. Also, I think they have a, a lot of young population as well, because I see a lot of young people around. So that's a good thing. It shows um, it is a vibrant city. Because you go to certain towns and everyone there is literally like OAPs or middle-aged. But there's a lot of young people. Um, there's a lot of young people around here, so that's a good thing. That's a good sign. So they might have um, a good nightlife. So that's what that indicates normally. Um, obviously, today I'm not going to show you any clubs or bars. Um, it's way too early for that. And I need to make my way to London in like an hour or two. So I'm not going to have time to stay and show you the nightlife. Okay, so we're still walking around. As you can see, they have um, the usual shops around. So... And most of them are open as well so in certain places up north um, when you go shopping or if you want to go shopping um, you need to kind of plan it out because um, some shops close really early but here it seems like most of the shops are still open and, um, and that's a good thing actually because a lot of a lot of places were affected by COVID as well so they can't afford to open from let's say 8 o'clock till 4 o'clock or 9 till 6 usually the opening time is like 9 till 5 or 9 till 6 um, if you go to certain places in London it's usually like it's usually like let's say 8 o'clock if you go to like a very busy town centre most shops might open from 8ish till 6 and if you go to places like Blue Water for example you are talking 9 till 9 or 9am 9, 9 till 10pm basically okay so for you lot that support Leeds Leeds United they've got their shop here so it's just around um, it's just around the city centre area so if you want to come and do some shopping I've got a feeling that it might be cheaper to buy your Leeds United kit here compared to buying that in London I might be wrong but that's just an assumption I'm hoping this is not a shopping centre it looks like it um, because they might tell me to switch off the camera so I'm just hoping it's not 
So, some people might say, um, is it worth me coming to Leeds? Definitely it is. Um, there's a lot of shops, like it's crazy. Like I can't even go through all the shops today. Um, there's a lot of shops, but um, it's, it's not it's not busy like that. Like it's not crazy busy. It's not like you going to like Westfield in Shepherd's Bush or going to Westfield in Stratford where a lot of people are. Um, here they have a reasonable amount of people around, so it's not crazy, crazy, crazy busy. Um, to me that's a good thing anyway because when I go shopping I hate it when it's really packed because when it gets really packed then you struggle um, guys I'm going to test the waters here I don't think they'll let me film but I'm gonna try because normally if you go to a shopping center they will tell you stop recording so this is definitely a shopping center so I might have to switch off my camera shortly. So I don't know what the name of this shopping centre is, but um, I'll find out in a minute. Yeah, so they've got your um, your prime money here as well, primer. Um, I'm trying to find out the name of the actual shopping centre. I can't actually see the name. Um, just keep looking. So sometimes, um, for those that are travelling from a different country anyway, not those based in the UK, um, you might come to certain shopping centres and find similar shops. So you might find Primark in one particular shopping centre and go to another one and find Primark there as well. So that's quite common. Um, I can't actually find the name of this shopping centre. But I'm just going to move on. So I might get kicked out in a minute. Yeah, so that's Primark. I can bet on money if I go to another shopping centre, I'll find a similar one there as well. You're right. Um, they seem to be nice here because um, <laughs> if this was London, I'll get chopped out. Um, people seem to be nice here. So, in Leeds, um, they have a very popular university as well. Um, I think it's called University of Leeds or Leeds University. And they tend to have a lot of foreign students there as well. Um, apparently it is a good university maybe some other time I might go to Leeds University and just find out um, what courses they offer to their students and um, maybe even speak to some students around okay, so there's a place called Trinity Kitchen it might be a restaurant but I'm going to come off this shopping centre I'm so lucky I didn't get kicked out though Okay, so let's see what else Leeds has in store Oh, I like that building and that looks like a fancy building um, It looks like one of them buildings you see in central London So the thing about Leeds is things are just um, things are just totally different. Like you come to one side of this street and it feels like you're in central London, and you come to another one and it feels like you are in maybe Kent or Essex. So it's quite different. Um, let's see what they have here. I don't think I've seen this road. Um, yeah, let's see what they have here. So, like I said, they have um, a very good university here. I don't think it's one of the top 10, but I think it's a good, it's a good enough university anyway. So, um, they do have a lot of people that um, travel all the way from London to study in Leeds. Another place that people travel to study in is um, Middlesbrough. I think it's called Teesside University. 
so a lot of people study there as well um, th that's actually an okay university um, I was meant to actually go to Teesside um, when I started uni but for some reason I changed and I went to Coventry instead so that's a bar I think this, this is actually the first bar I'm seeing today I'm sure this gets really busy because apparently the northerners know how to party and they get really drunk compared to the southerners apparently so I'm sure it gets really busy also um, I'm not too sure if they have a drug problem but I've seen a lot of people that look dazed like they look literally gone so I'm not sure if they have um, a, drug, a, a drug problem, an alcohol problem in Leeds. I might be wrong. So these are all assumptions, yeah? Based on what I'm seeing around. Um, obviously, I'm not showing anyone that looks dazed um, on camera, because obviously I don't want to embarrass anyone. But um, I've seen it, a number of people that look dazed. Um, not homeless dazed like it looks like they're high so they might have a drug problem they might have an alcohol problem I'm not sure but I have seen a lot of um, mental health and um, alcohol charities around so I might be correct in that case because what tends to happen is if they have a huge population of people that have mental health issues, um, alcohol issues or drug issues, then obviously they'll have more charities around that support them. Um, mate, this place is massive. Um, I'm still walking around. Okay, I think I've been on this road. Let's try to explore somewhere else. Um, let's go this way. So it does feel like a safe area. Um, although there are certain parts of Leeds that um, that don't have a good reputation so there's a place called Bradford and apparently Bradford has a lot of gang issues burglary issues so it's not really a safe place I might decide to go to Bradford in the future just to see how it is because sometimes you you read all of this on um, on the newspaper or you or you see this on the news and it's not actually true but um, all the news articles I've read there was nothing good about Bradford at all all I can see is there's a gang issue there's an issue regarding burglary and it's not a safe place but they say that about London as well so who knows if it's actually true Okay, so let's see what they have here. It's called Thornton's Arcade. Arcade? Do you think they have arcade games here? Or do you think there's an arcade where you can play games? That's why I'm in. I doubt it. Um, so it seems like they have a lot of like shops around it's just literally like a like a like a little retail outlet also i think there are a lot of university students around um because obviously i've been to uni before so i could tell when a group of university students are walking around so i've seen some around um because obviously they have to go to their lectures so they usually go as a group so 
from lecturer to lecturer. I mean, from um, from yeah, from lecturer to lecturer, I suppose. Okay, so um, I didn't put this on. Um, I didn't. I didn't put this in the video, but um, I saw a group of youngers, yeah, and they were like, "Oh, what's this for?" And I said, "For my YouTube channel." And they said, oh, what's your YouTube channel? So I give it to them. But they did have a very strong Northern accent. Um, yeah, welcome to Leeds. Um, I did ask him as well, do you want to be on camera? And, and he said, no, which is okay. Um, it's always good when you actually say you don't want to be on camera because um, I don't want people appearing on camera and they don't want to be on camera. So it's always good when they say that. I prefer that actually. Um, but most people want to be on camera though, but the Northerners are different. I don't think they want to be on camera at all. I think all of them are just calm. Um, okay, what else? Feels like I've been here already. Um, let's check this side out. Feels like I'm going in circles now. Okay, I don't think I've seen this. So, we've got, we've got Pizza Express, the usual, the usual um, restaurants and places you'd see down south as well. Similar, to be honest. Um, I, I don't see the difference between here and down south. I suppose it's just the people that are different and the accent that is different. Um, but we've got some nice places around. Okay, yeah, I've been to this area already. Okay, so. For the young ones, yeah, I totally recommend Leeds. Um, I think you would like it. I think come here for a weekend. Just come here for a weekend and chill with your friends, and you definitely have a good time. I can't really tell you how the nightlife is, like I said, because I've not actually experienced it myself. So I can't tell you what I've not seen. But um, I suppose it might be good. Like I said, the more the more you see, I mean, if you see more young people in an area, it shows you that the area is quite, is quite nice. So the more young people in an area, the more likely that that area has a lot of good stuff in it. And the more likely that the nightlife is good as well. That's just from experience anyway. So I think the nightlife will definitely be good. But you just have to check it out for yourself when you're here. Um, the people seem to be okay as well um, they don't seem like the ones that will come and talk to you and want to appear on camera they don't seem like the type which is fair enough um, sometimes I need to be by myself I don't need anyone bumping in but um, I suppose up north they're more cautious they're more um, they show you more respect basically they don't try to jump in. Not to say I don't like people jumping in. I do like it sometimes. But I suppose today, today is a lovely Monday and I just want to go around walking and exploring without any interruption, basically. Okay, so. Yeah, we're still walking around looking at what's happening um, have I seen this road already let's see let's see let's see let's see um, I'm gonna try walking on this road I don't think I'll do it now. I just want to show you how the I just want to show you how the area is anyway 
so you can have a feel and feel like you're here. So that's Curry's. See, I don't go to shops anymore to buy like um, like electronic gadgets because now you can buy everything online anyway so I don't see any point in going to a shop it's just much more easier to order online and you usually get it within a few working days anyway so it's just much more easier for me and sometimes you go to the shop and they don't even have um, exactly what you want so it's a bit pointless but, um, so they have um they, they literally have all the shops you can imagine obviously they should anyway but it seems like every shop that i've ever seen before is literally within the city center area so i'm kind of thinking now if i was to leave the city center would i actually see any other shops around like outside of the city center i mean um because it feels like all the all the shops are just within the city center area um who knows it might just be that they have shops outside of the city center area as well but wow it is it is big um so we're still walking around so in terms of public transport anyway so um they've got a, a train station i did see the train station earlier today um it's called leeds station but i'm not sure if that's the main station you come to if you're coming from let's say york or middlesbrough i'm not sure but um they do have a train station a main train station um in terms of buses anyway um they have they have a lot so you can see the um public transport buses um they're all green and it's got leeds city written on it but i suppose these are the ones that go around the main city area um, it might not go into the suburbs. Um, they might have, I don't know, a smaller house that goes around the smaller areas, and that's what tends to happen. So in the big, in the big town, you would have a different type of bus. Then if you go to the suburbs or you know the local areas, then you might see a different type of bus, maybe. Um, okay, so where are we? So we're still around the um, city centre area, still walking around. Um, some people are just literally hanging around, having drinks, chilling. So what I read about um, Leeds is, it is one of the worst places to live in but also one of the best places to visit how does that make sense i don't get it and i think the reason why this is me thinking i think the reason why is there are certain areas in leeds that are not nice so maybe that's how they've come to the conclusion that leeds is not a good place to live um but i suppose they I suppose they have a lot of good areas as well um, their city centre looks good um, there are a lot of people that look happy so it must be an okay area though I wouldn't say it's an affluent city or I wouldn't say um, it is a rich city I'll say it is okay um, and that's that but yeah, um, when I read on Leeds, it is one of the best places to visit and also one of the worst places to live in. But I think just, just take that as, 
just take that as an opinion basically because some people might think an area is a bad place to live in but you might come there and literally like it so sometimes that could be subjective okay so they've got a bar here as well they've got a lot of hidden bars literally so you have to go to all the side roads and the side corners to see all the bars around so that's the bar I just showed the lift bar we've got a noodle house there Chinese they like Chinese the bread bar yeah oh this is definitely a place to be at night I can bet on money that this place gets really busy at night I can just sense it yeah and they've got that bar yeah it definitely gets busy at night there's no doubt about it and bail money so that's the bar as well it's got um it's got a south asian vibe like when you go to south asia you see like a lot of like um tables and chairs in like i mean on the side road and um you might not get busy during the day but when it's late in the evening mate it gets really busy okay so i'm gonna find where i parked so let me just summarize the leads before i sign off yeah okay so should you come to leads the answer is yes I totally recommend Leeds. Is it a place to come to for a staycation? Obviously, yes. Um, if it's a good place to visit, I suppose it's a good place for a staycation if you want to stay over. Um, is it a good place to live in? Um, I don't think I'm the right person to say that or to give an opinion on that anyway, because. Um, I don't live here so I don't know if it's a good place to live I've never ever stayed here before so I don't know but I would say it is a good place to visit um, if you were to visit Leeds I would say come here for three four days but I, I think it's better to come here during the weekend so probably come here on a Thursday live on a Sunday or come on a Friday live on a Sunday something like that anyway um, I wouldn't stay here for a week it's not worth it anyway to me anyway I don't think it's worth it um, so I'm gonna have to leave it here um, for those that haven't subscribed um, please subscribe um, please like my video it does help um, it helps the YouTube algorithm so please um, like comment and subscribe and um, I'll see you in my next video take care guys